Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Roadrunners have been mired in this deep funk, and sometimes when things start going wrong, the harder you work, the worse it gets. At least it seems that way. They have to find a way to relax, play to their capabilities, and try to find something that can give them a little bit of confidence. Thank you for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. side of our college football showdown. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. UTSA will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Joseph's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance at least shutting him down. Caught out in the open. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves them with a first and goal. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. And he tackles him hard at the five-yard line. Joseph gets around three on that option keeper. He's on the run, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He makes the PAT with a three-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Smith off the left side. Tackle at the 35. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. Scrambling around. Very good tackle in space. That's a good word. That makes it second and two. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. He's 
tackled around the 40-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 40-yard line, first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of four on one play. That makes it second and six. Throws it in a hurry, and down he goes, around the 28-yard line. That play is good for eight yards and a first down. They've done a great job on this drive with the underneath pass. The quarterback isn't forcing the ball, and you can see how effective he is. From the 28-yard line, first down. Throws complete, he's got space to work, and he's tackled around the 17-yard line. At the 17 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. The five. And he hits him hard at the one. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Now he pitches it, and they make the stop at the one-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, Roadrunners. So they run the option to perfection for the score. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back, and let him go in for six. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Williams takes it from the six. He's tackled at the 33. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Throw right down around the 42 yard line. And he's immediately tackled. Smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Pitches back. He fights forward to about the 49. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Dunn gets the ball, and he's taken down around the 48-yard line. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. The Owls had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. <laughs> Tackle at the 23-yard line.
You know, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down at the 46. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 46. Terrific effort to pick up the first down. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turf. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. On play action, he'll scramble. Dives for extra yardage. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of six on the play. First down. From the 12-yard line. It's first down. Tackle made around the 10 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Here's the give. He's taken down at about the nine-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He scrambled. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. an eight-play, 77-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. the middle and he's stuffed you know these backwards plays can have a psychological impact it can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening we've got a second and 11 ball on their own 31 gives it to the back he's to the 40 makes it to the 44 just a simple draw play there but they picked up some big yards the catch and he's got nowhere to go. That's a game three on the play. That'll make it 
second and seven. seven. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. There's a strike complete. Tackle around the 23-yard line. Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. He can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. He's scrambling. And they got him. The Owls have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Brought down in the open field. Kill, kill, kill. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds around the 11-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. The halfback with a carry. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Rice! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 68-yard drive. And they put up seven points. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Jacobs is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And down he goes at the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's wrapped up for the sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. Man left, man left. Over there, over there. Man, man, two, three, nine. Three, nine. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Flair. Quick pass, knocked out of bounds at the 22. Gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and eight. We've got third and eight. Ball in the 22. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The defense punches them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. Grigsby is the deep man awaiting the return. They'll bring him down at the 45. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Right. 
He's going to air it long. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. So we've played two quarters. 14 apiece. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen on the big 60 inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit, but great game. Living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbert. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. Thorne from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Quick strike, and he drops it. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. That's good for a game of three yards. Third down, six to go. Ball on their own 26. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. Harrison is the punter. Grigsby fields it at the 40. He makes it out to midfield. Pretty good job by the return man there. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Got some open field. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Six. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, Owls. the PAT. 
A five-play, 50-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 24. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 37-yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. And he's tackled at the 46 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Now he pitches it. Brought down at about the 45. That's a good word. First down. Here we go, here we go. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, second down. He steps out at the 41-yard line. drop that the defender did everything that he needs to do he read the play perfectly he stepped up and what does he do he drops the interception boy the offense caught a break there so this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback the Roadrunners have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Rice is up seven. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. And he's taken down at the 50. Inside the 10. Touchdown! And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Bulldogs were ranked 18th. 
They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Fresno State, they remain red hot. Fresno State gets the win by four. Two touchdown ball game right now. 28 to 14 here. Jacobs gets set to kick this one away. Scott fields at the goal line. At the 30. And they push him out around the 33-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he stopped behind the line. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 32. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Scrambling around. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. Third down. He's at midfield. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 28-14, Rice. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. his way to the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. On play action. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. He'll get the call again. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Gets out to around the 15. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 12-yard line, first down. Feeds it to the back. Touchdown, Roadrunners. Standing run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Boston College taking the field in Chestnut Hill. Here's a hotly contested battle. Boston College leads it 10-7. One touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 28-21. UTSA gets set to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Rice is up by a touchdown. Ah! 
Tackle made at the 47. Give to the tailback. And he's level at the 41. Down, they need to get it down to the 31. By 52, by 52. Green nine, green nine. Red seven, red seven. star is shining as brightly as he ever has. It is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 69-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. They're set to go for another round. Just under two to go in the game. Trying to get into the tight end, but it falls to the ground. It's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're going to come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down and with fourth down now coming up this very well could be the last time they see the ball and he's tackled right away gain of 14 yards that makes it first and ten the grab and he's got the first he's tackled at the 35 hey kill 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 black five black five here we go, here we go. Hey, kill 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 he's under pressure deep pass to the end zone and it's caught for the touchdown Time for that touchdown, and now they've still got a chance in this game. Yeah. 
And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. Tackle at the 39. Just amazing, Herbie. We've seen four straight possessions now in which the offenses have scored. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the leads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. Dunn takes it left. He fights forward to about the 19. A two-yard run by the halfback. The Roadrunners use their second timeout. Two times, two times. We have less than a minute to go. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. It's third and seven. Ball on the 18. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a deep seven on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. Joseph's the star of the game, Kirk. It's as simple as that. He played a great game. The whole team played a great game, and they won it. That's yeah, the important part. Yeah, Brad, he had an excellent game, and really kind of what we expected coming into today's game for him to be able to step up and show that he's one of the top players in the country, and he really didn't disappoint at all. While individual accolades are great, I'm sure he'll tell you the fact that his team came away with a victory is really the most important aspect of this game.